Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we would be implementing two platforms moving within their own specific range. Along the way, we would learn about more about systems, kinematic rigid bodies, local resources, and components. Bevy systems are game functions where you would implement your game logic. Systems run once every frame. If the game runs at 60 frames per second, this function would run 60 times in a second. So make sure your functions do not do anything too complicated. It's advised to keep them small and concise. Instead of having one or a few large functions, which does too many things, it's better to have many functions, each with a specific responsibility. You can pass only certain specific parameters to Bevy systems. The main ones are Queries. These are used to filter and gain access to entities containing the components we want. Res and ResMute are used to read and modify resources. Commands are used to spawn, despawn, and modify entities. We would be using a position-based kinematic rigid body for implementing moving platforms. We had gone through rigid bodies in detail in the previous video. But just as a reminder, in kinematic rigid bodies, we set the position of objects in our code and the velocity is derived accordingly. Let's spawn another rectangle platform and add the rigid body component to it. This will be a kinematic position based rigid body. Let's spawn it. Now let's add movement. Let's create a system for that. We implement a function called modify body translation. Over here, we keep increasing the X coordinate of all rigid bodies by one every frame. So all three objects move to the right. You may be wondering that even though one of the platforms is a fixed rigid body, it still moves to the right. That should not happen, right? So it turns out that you can, but the bevy rapier dogs provide a warning. So we should avoid this as much as possible. So how do we move only kinematic rigid bodies? We move the rigid body outside the width keyword. We are doing this because we want to check what kind of a rigid body it is inside our system. Now we have a moving platform. 
Next, we need to control the range within which the platform moves. This is how we would implement it. The platform can move in direction right and direction left. For simplicity, let's denote right by plus 1 and left by minus 1. Let's take one of these as the initial values. The platform moves to the right initially, so it has a value of plus 1. Now when the platform reaches a certain max x coordinate, we want to change its direction to move left. Similarly, when the platform reaches the leftmost point, we want to change the direction to move right. Let's implement this using a local bevy resource. Local resources are like global variables, but specific to that function. Even when the system or function exits, the value of this variable remains intact for the next time the function is called. Hence, the system would know the direction in which the platform was moving in the previous frame, and it can continue to move in that direction until it reaches the maximum or minimum x value. We will define a global max and minimum x. If the direction is 1, we translate to the right. If it's minus 1, we move to the left. These are the conditions we talked about to change the direction. And there you go, our platform moves within a specific range. However, we have a slight problem. Our solution only works if we have one specific range in which we want to move our platform. What if we want different platforms to move within their own specific range of values? The solution is components. Let's create a component called Moving Platform. We want each platform to move independently, so let's add a direction. We also want each of them to move within a specific range, so they have their own maximum x and minimum x. This is how we add a component to an entity.
we set the same max and minimum x values as the global ones just to verify that we get the same result. Now we make changes to our system. We no longer need the rigid body component since we would be filtering out entities which contain our moving platform component. We also no longer need the local resource since direction is a part of the component. As we can see, the component does the same job for us. Now we are in a position to scale this logic to multiple platforms. Let's spawn another moving platform which moves within a different set of points. And finally, we have achieved what we set out to do in this video. Thanks for watching.